In this segment, we're going to see what I need to do to push changes from my local Android Studio environment up to GitHub for the very first time. So I have a project that I've already cloned, and I've made a few changes to it, and now I'm going to right-click on App and say Git, Commit Directory. I see the files that it's recommending that I change. I know I also changed this build Gradle here. I'll go ahead and click that. Everything else here looks pretty good. So I happen to be doing some work with coins, so I'm, I added the message adding coin dependencies. Now I'm going to choose Commit and Push. Notice that it needs a name, so I'm going to go ahead and fill out some details here. I did that. Now it's doing a bit of analysis. Looks like I have some refactoring to do, which is not surprising because when I implemented Coin, I also upgraded my Android SDK version and several other items. So I will worry about that later. I'm going to go ahead and choose Commit and Push. And we'll choose Push. Now it gives us two options here, login via GitHub, which I traditionally used, but we're not going to use this time. Because uh, at this point there's a known bug in it, where it well, basically what it does is it opens up a web browser, and you just say, okay, uh, authorize my, uh, Intel my Android Studio IntelliJ to use this GitHub account. And if you're already logged into GitHub in your browser, then it's really easy, because it sees that you're logged in. If you're not already, already logged in, it simply prompts you to log in. And that part goes okay, but then it opens up this weird uh, IP address, which is essentially your own computer, and asks you to log in there, and there's not really a good workaround for that. So instead, we're going to choose Use Token. And for the token, we need to go to GitHub and generate a token. So to do that, we simply go to GitHub, log in if you haven't done so already, and then we'll go to Settings. And then let's go to Developer Settings, and then we'll say Personal Access Tokens. And here we'll say generate a personal access token for uh, for use in the GitHub URI. Let's check repo, read org, and we will also check just. Then I'm going to say generate token. Okay, fine. Token, that can't be blank, so we'll say token. Now we'll say generate token. So it's given me a token, and now I can apply that in Android Studio. I simply paste the value here, and then I choose log in. Now you see pushed coin to new branch origin coin. And if I return to my GitHub homepage, I'm going to go ahead and look at this repository, and we see that coin had recent pushes one minute ago. And if I take a look down here, sure enough, here is a brand new branch called coin. Uh, and if we take a look, we see dependencies added 23 minutes ago, which is when I actually did the commit. So you see this is relatively fresh, and sure enough, it is now in sync with my Android Studio environment. As always, I hope this video was helpful. In this video, we took a look at how to enter our credentials from Android Studio into GitHub so that we can commit and push and synchronize with GitHub. And I hope that this makes a big difference in your own software development endeavors. Good luck. Thank you.